We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bobby McSquiggums. We're going to be taking a first look at our Adventurer Guild, or at least the demo thereof. It is by Green Guy, and it released into Steam Early Access on May 30th, 2023. I'm hoping at some point to get my hands on the actual game, whether it be in early access or when it is finally due out for full release. Uh, it looks really cool. I just I haven't found a way to reach out or contact uh, the developer yet. So hopefully uh, maybe they check this out and we'll see what happens. Though I do see there's a Discord thing down there, so maybe that's a, another inroad. Either way, it looks really, really cool. I wanted to check it out. Super happy to see that there's a demo there. We're going we're gonna to do our first look right now. Let us start the game. I haven't touched this at all yet, so I'm going in completely clueless. Uh, normal difficulty recommended for players who are familiar with tactical games. No difficulty modifiers. Might as well go Iron Man. We're just going to be doing the one. Iron Bumpy. I can type sometimes. All right, there we go. Let us see what is happening. Dear friend, it has been a long time, hasn't it? I always thought about writing to you, but never found the courage to do so. How ironic that my very first letter to you would also be my last. Because by the time you receive this letter, I will already be dead. Friend, I have a favor I want to ask of you. Uh, it's about the Adventurer's Guild. It has been difficult the last couple of years. I have to admit in shame that we have been struggling. I'm afraid of what will become of the guild now that I am gone. I fear without the right leadership, it will cease to exist. That's why I want you to become the guild master of the new variety. I know it may be selfish for me to ask this of you, but as your friend and someone who considered you family, please don't let our dream die. Former guild master of the Adventurer Guild and your old friend, Fran. Just want to point out, as I do in the opposite event, where, you know, the text is auto-advancing. This is not. This is accurate. Always do this. Never auto-advance text. Thank you. Awesome. Don't hesitate to abandon a quest when it gets dangerous. Adventures are expensive investments. All right. Let's do this tang. I think this is, like, going to, like, 100% be up my alley. We'll see. I, I say... Going off of a few screenshots and, uh, you know, whatnot, it looked really cool. It looks like 100% something I'd like, but we get into the meat and taters right now and see. It shouldn't be much further from here. If we follow the road, we should be arriving at the guild in no time. Good to hear. This journey has been exhausting. You got us lost several times, and we had to pretty much run from every encounter we came across. Honestly, I'm surprised we even survived this far. Y yeah, uh, sorry about that, Guildmaster. We haven't been adventurers for long. Guildmaster, it's still weird hearing that. I guess we didn't really show our best side so far, did we? No. No, you didn't. Jeez, we really made a bad first impression to our future boss. Time to butter up. I know we haven't been that great so far, but we're still young and learning. I'm sure we'll improve in no time under your leadership. Especially when you're such a handsome... Uh, yeah, um, I mean, pretty... Uh, Good-looking good person. Thank you? Uh, I guess? What was that stutter just now? Just noticed I can't tell if our guildmaster is a man or a woman. You know, that's not really an issue, but I mean, okay. What are you talking about? Of course it's a... Uh, uh, see? You can't tell either, right? I mean, the, the beard it should be kind of a, a, a dead giveaway. I have an idea. Guildmaster, I noticed we never called you by your name. I kind of feel bad about it. Uh, it makes everything so formal. Technically, I'm your boss, so that seems just right. Y yes, uh, of course. But it just doesn't seem right if we don't at least know your name. So, could you tell us? My name is Entertext. Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> I like it. Well, I... 
I guess there's no harm in that. It's enter text, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I know I only got double dots, but still. Enter text. Ah, I see. Of course. Oh, of course. I want to see what they do with this. Uh, you still can't tell, can you? N no. You think it'd be awkward to ask now? No, what do you think? For now, let's just keep rolling with it and avoid the use of pronouns. Um, <clears throat> if you're done whispering, I have a suggestion to make. As you said, you're still capable of learning, but I do want to reach the guild in one piece, so here is my suggestion. For the remainder of the journey, let me take charge. I used to be an adventurer for more than half my life, and I'm sure that I can bring the best out of you. Yeah, I don't think any of us would have issues with that. Good, good, then follow me. So, what were their names again? Pretty sure they told me. Also pretty sure they told me their life stories and traits, which is kind of weird to tell a stranger. Maybe I'll find that info in the character pages. See? Alright, we're in the tutorial. Uh, the basics. To move the quest map, use WASD. I like it. Alright, whenever you move, the enemies will also start moving. You can get too close to, or if you get too close to an enemy, uh, they will start chasing you. If they catch you, you will have to fight them. You can try to outrun them if you do not wish for a confrontation. There will also be several interactable objects on the quest map highlighted with a sparkle effect. To interact with them, go next to them and press the interact button, which would be E, standard. Okay, uh, you know what? I say we just run with it. We could go through all of the tutorial stuff. And ordinarily, I might be more inclined to do so, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go take a peek at who we got. We have Brad, Thomas, Kiera, uh, and I guess uh, that, that's it. That's 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 all they are. All right, uh, what, what are we doing here? None of them have a title. Their rank is copper. This dude's a defender, um, a mage, and a, a rouge. No, uh... A defender, a rogue, and a mage are the characters. Stats, arrogant, I like it. Um, sweet. Don't know what a lot of this stuff means yet, but I'm here for it. Let's do it. All right, we moved the map. Oh, oh, I thought we moved the map, not moved the characters on the map. That's okay. Can we go through the... No, we can't. Okay. Ah, I see. Oh, 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 I kind of want to get into a fight. Let us do battle, sir. Can we wait? Yes, we can. Start battle. Oh, no. Bandits. No need to panic. Bandits really shouldn't scare you. I've aged and I apparently started smoking in my youth. No, uh, <clears throat> they're like introductory enemies for adventurers. Why don't you come here and say that to my axe? Uh-oh, they, they look pissed now. <clears throat> you killed, Master? No worries, I still think you can take them on. Let them come to you first and try to use the environment to your advantage. Just, just all of the voices. And now we go from the basics to the battle. I guess it's going to throw this at us when we do next thing, next thing, next thing, which is okay. I'm fine with that. Battles in our adventurer guild are turn-based, as they should be. Every round, characters will get a turn to act. The order depends mostly on their initiative value. On their turn, characters have a number of action points. Two to spend on actions. Three. Okay, action points are two. Actions are three. Got it. To end your turn... And turn down the bottom right once per round. You can also delay your current character's turn and put them at the end of the turn order. Down here. Got it. Every character also starts with a movement action point. Okay. This point is needed to move. Two. Okay. The character's on the battlefield. However, it can also be used as an action point for other actions if needed. You can initiate a movement action by either clicking the movement button or pressing the associated hotkey or simply clicking on a free tile. There is a combat log you can toggle with one if you wish to do so. Boop. 
Ooh, what do berry bushes do? Ooh, 30% HP re restoration. I like it. All right. So it looks like our turn, turn order is, is it down up or up down? Well, either way, I suppose we'll move. I should have maybe waited. All right. Uh, we could throw the knife only that far. And then we can see everything else. All right. I guess that's all we can do with you. I believe I'm going to wait. Space to wait. I like it. Here comes the heavy bolt. It didn't feel great. Okay, we have magic missile. We have fire bolt. We have earth spike. We have ice bolt. And we have lightning strike. And they all pretty much use all of our actions. Um, this seems free. I guess we'll move first. And then we'll hit him with some knowledge. I guess that's all we can do. Alright, now it's Brad's turn. What what is what what what's what's wrong with me? Oh oh no, it's still Thomas's turn, sorry. I, I just saw Brad there. And I think I had my mouse hovered over Brad. Alright. That's that's what's going down. I shall step forward. I can body slam you. Move five tiles away from Castor Ore until Shield Bash. Block. Yeah, I think I think I think we guns to slash. Oh, good. We missed. Perfect. Oh my RNG. Oh my RNG. Quick slash, throw knife, artery strike. Ooh. No, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick slash. All right, and now we're gonna get pummeled a little bit by the baddies, maybe. Oh, hold on now. I think we could still move, probably. Okay. You wish to do battle with me? Too bad. Get away. Now you must come back. I'm also going to block, I think. All right, we got our block up. We're ready to go. You're going to come back, and you're going to hit us with a bloody axe. But it was blocked. You fool. All right, we move behind. Easy slash attack. Um, maybe there's going to be an option. I'm not positive, but it would be nice to see if there was an option. Once you did everything you could do with your character, it would either auto end your turn or pop up with, do you want to end your turn or something like that? Because there's nothing else you can do right now. But that might change down the line. Maybe there will be things that you can do, like use a spell or something outside of combat. I don't know. Like, uh, for, for a spell or something that's not specifically tied to the character. Alright, Brad. That is your real name. Probably is. It's like right now, Brad's tapped out. There's nothing he can really do. So, I feel like it should just auto-end. And that might be in the options. So, I might have just missed it. Like, it's very possibly completely already there. This should finish. And it did. We did it! We're heroes! Ooh, I like the, the victory sound. That was nice. Take all and continue. We can open our inventory or we can leave items behind. Interesting. Cool. So that's the thing that we did. Is this a campfire or something? It is attribute checks. 
There will be times when you have to do an attribute check. To succeed, you have to roll a number ranging from 1 to 20. If the rolled number combined with the modifier is greater or equal to the difficulty, you've succeeded the check. In some cases, failing to roll will have negative consequences for the party. If you fail the roll, you have the option to spend your bravery points on a reroll. But be careful. There will also be consequences when an adventurer runs too low on bravery points. Sometimes you can circumvent certain rolls by carrying the right items with you, like shovels to remove obstacles or keys to open chests. Cool. 15 strength. You got this, Brad. I believe in you, son. You can use a shovel to remove the obstacle. Current house, highest modifier. Let's remove it by hand. I mean, we have to roll relatively high for this. You guys know my RNG is terrible. This is not going to work out. Um, wait. Kira has the highest modifier? What? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, maybe she's got high strength. He's got, like, high constitution or something. Yeah, yeah. Remember, guys and gals, RNG and me, we don't get along. So this is probably always going to be how the outcome happened. Uh, how much uh, do we have? We have 53. Is that what it's saying there? Okay, let's try it again. That That's, that's I'd say unbelievable, but no, I, I believe it. Yeah, her dex is her highest. Her strength is second. And yeah, endurance is his. All right, well... Wait! This place here is full of resources we can collect. Collecting resources is an important part of adventuring. We can use them to make our own potions and equipment. So try to always collect all the resources if possible. Sometimes you might not have enough space in your inventories. So try to prioritize what you bring back with you. Okay, uh... Knock, knock. Who's there? Everything. Everything loot-worthy. I will take some more mushroomies. Oh, we're mining now. Oh, no. It's a giant beast. Oh, we're still a little wounded, huh? There's stuff up there. Damn it. Now we're getting attacked by wild monsters. Beware of that dire wolf. It's a quick fellow, and I reckon that at your level, you will have a hard time hitting it. Do you have any tips? I do. Believe in yourself. Uh, any other tips? Uh, I'm being serious. I've seen you fight. You're all stronger than you think you are. R really? Yes. I've hardly seen anyone as talented as you lot. Now get out there. I'm sure you'll be able to defeat those monsters. Y yes, Guildmaster. We will not disappoint you. I really bought that. This whole Guildmaster thing is going to be much easier than I thought. Bravery in battle. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation which seems unfavorable to your adventurers, but by taking advantage of the bravery system... Your adventurers can easily turn the tide of battle in key moments. Each adventurer has an amount of bravery points, BP, one, which can be spent on powerful temporary buffs, two. One, two. Got it. But be careful while spending your BP. Having too little BP gives minor debuffs to the adventurer and risks them getting sh the shaken status. They reach zero BP. Meanwhile, having high BP gives your adventurers minor buffs. Always consider the trade-off when using BP. There are also several ways to gain BP. Defeating an enemy, landing a crit, or getting encouragement from allies with close, close relations. Likewise, BP could be lost by getting too hurt or having allies die. High bravery adventurers gain BP faster than low bravery adventurers. Okay. Well, that does seem not great. Heroic hit. Next skill cannot miss. How far, wait, hold on, how far can you, oh god. I maybe should have waited. I, I can't undo that. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, 
The pig, the pig ocular. Oh no! Oh, he missed. Pigopolis was coming at us there. Oh, uh huh. What is the chain? I mean, they all seem to do about the same amount of damage, except for this one. Alright, let's play with lightning. I was like, what do you think the odds are that I'd miss this? Pretty low, right? I mean, 85%, there's no chance that we're gonna hit the skill, is there? Nope, not a single chance. Cool. He's bleeding, at least. That's a thing that is happening. I guess I'll head over here. Headbutt, ow, my head, ow, my butt. Shield bash. I hit it and I stunned him. Man, I'm incredible. Ninety-five percent. I'll take it. He is no longer stunned. No, I think I think we wait. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Go ahead and move there. Let's hit him with a little bit there. Going for the bleed. Not too bad. Maybe she'll be able to dodge. Probably not, but maybe. Hold on, I, I can get a free attack off before I go for my move. I'm not going to necessarily land said free attack, but I could get it off there. I'd like to be able to make it up to the, the berry bush. If I can, I just don't know that I mean, there's anything where it makes sense to do this. All right, chucking the knife. All right. Going to hit B. Now chucking the knife. Oh. Oh, or just killing him, apparently. Surprise. Okay, we'll take it. Hey, we got a liver, some common hide, a spleen, and some monster blood. Good work, everyone. At this point, you're all probably exhausted. We should camp now and let you get some rest. It's important to always know when to take a break. Uh, take a break and recover. All right, uh, traveling around the quest map and fighting enemies is an exhausting task for your adventurers. If the stamina bar gets depleted, your adventurers will be in an exhausted state, making them less combat efficient. To recover their strength, you have to set up camp. Uh, all right. But remember, you can only set up camp when no enemies are chasing you. So do not always wait until the last second, or you will regret it. While camping, adventurers have to consume supplies to heal. The amount of supplies needed depends on the number of adventurers and their traits, so plan accordingly. Okay. During camp mode, adventurers can perform actions to heal or, or, heal or buff the party. However, the actions are limited by the amount of camping points available to them. Different classes have different camping actions to choose from. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna do this.
And now we'll go and do camping. And for camp. What? Uh, we have six remaining supplies, a meager meal. Camp point. I think we do the satisfying meal. It didn't do that much for us. Select a character to perform an action. Let's just see what you've got. Polish armor adventures gain 30% more physical resistance for three encounters. We have five camp action points. Store 10% health, maybe. One adventurer encourages another to restore BP. The amount of BP restored depends on their relationship. Magic ritual for protection uh, against elements. Okay, starts to meditate more mana. That will be hidden at the start of the battle. Forms a first aid, restore 10% health. And then Adventurer stands guard for the night, reduces ambush chance. Ah, huh, interesting. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and encourage you. And I think we'll do first aid on you. And I think that's it. Everything else requires more. Okay, we'll rest. Will we be ambushed? This is a beautiful spot. I love camping out in the wilderness. I can relate. It's peaceful out here. Makes you forget all your troubles. Yeah. Even that, I mean, that was easy enough to... I had a nice dream. And that was easy enough to read, but I, I'd i still say maybe don't auto-advance the text there. But at the same time, I could see those are not necessarily super important things to, to hear. Just kind of flavor. So, it's all good. Uh, we have a map. Interesting. Uh, we could change the formation of our characters. We're just trying to reach the Adventurer Guild. Oh, this looks uh, questionable and somewhat scary. See what happens. Damn. There are, oops, extra R, are even more bandits ahead and they're blocking the road. Does that mean we have to fight our way through? Not necessarily. Not everything has to end in a fight. We might have other options depending on the situation. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Start the event. Ahead of the adventurers were a group of bandits blocking the road. It seems like they were waiting for the next group of victims. The adventurers could see that the bandits slightly outnumbered them. A fight was therefore not in their best interest. The party remembered what their guildmaster said to them and started to think about alternate ways to get past them. We could try to intimidate the bandits to let the party through. It requires 12 strength, which we may or may not have. Have one of them try to lure the bandits away. 12 dexterity. Pretend to be bandits. 12 intelligence. I don't think any one of our characters has any of those stats. I don't know if this is pulled throughout, but um, we're going to go with intimidation. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's going to go well. Um, but hey, maybe she can, she can redeem herself. The strength check. Hey, success. I accept this. Kira suggested that they should walk toward the bandits confidently. She argues that if they seem intimidating enough, they might just let them through without a fight. The others agreed to this plan, and together they walked toward the bandits. As the party approached, the bandits appeared taken aback by their lack of fear. Kira adopted a fierce expression on her face, hoping to intimidate the bandits. Bandits huddled together, murmuring in hushed tones, seemingly considering the group's approach. The adventurers were already amidst the bandits and just continued walking. The bandits wanted to attack them. This was their best opportunity. However, surprisingly, the bandits just let the adventurers through without doing anything. It seems like none of them had the guts to attack. The guildmaster silently asked themselves, how did that plan work? The following adventurers gain three ba bravery. Sweet, go Kiera. Yeah, 50 experience points. What? And treasure. We just, we're stealing the bandit's treasure now? I like it. Do you want to use a key? 
Nah, we'll, we'll lockpick. Kira's is the all-around G, I guess. Hey, success. We got our failures out early, I guess. All right, we got 500 cash monies. We got two jewelry. And we got a minor dodge ring. Now we're going to go into inventory. I guess I could do the dodge ring on him. Does it show us, like, a percentage to dodge? Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Like, I, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, what is our chance to dodge? Is it just 5%? What does this do for me? There'd be, it'd be nice to see that. And it might be somewhere, and I just don't know where it is. By the way, currently we have 16 out of 20 of our inventory filled. Which is uh, not, not a tremendous amount. Alright, and then we have to battle the wooden dummy. Finally, the group reached their destination. In front of them stood a giant fortress. An old, abandoned Empyrean fortress that had been claimed by the Adventurer Guild several years ago. It now acts as a base of operations for the Adventurer Guild. In front of the fortress stands an old, familiar face. I love it. Loud. In your face. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see when I complete a quest, when I level up, when we're successful in combat. I love it. Very, very good. Very nice. Go back to the guild. 400 experience. We get some valuables, some remaining loot that we can't actually carry. Unless this is the stuff that we were already carrying. I think this is stuff we were already carrying. Cool. Ah, oh, love it. It's so good. Here, just crushing it on the experience. Adventures in the same party are more likely to interact with each other. Makes sense. Now, this is only part of the game. I mean, it's a part of the game that I really like, right? Of course, I really like uh, tactical turn-based combat and stuff like that. So that, that, that spoke to me pretty heavily. But there's more to it than that, I believe. Triple dot. Oh, great. That's her. This is Fiola. My friend's wife. She and I have an agreement. I can't stand her. She can't stand me. So, you really came back. Enter text. Dot, dot, dot. Fiola, I see you're still here. I was sure by now that you'd be already back in your swamp hut and brewing some children in an iron cauldron. Ah, charming as ever, I see. I guess the only thing that grew older is your exterior. I still can't believe you'll become the new guildmaster. Hmm. What was my husband thinking? It's like a nightmare. Eh, you can help me get rid of mine by going back to the underworld you call home. They definitely have a history. And just leave the guild, which my husband has spent his life to raise, to somebody who I'm sure has done nothing worthwhile in the last ten years? I think not. You want to go bleep? Try me. Whoa there, you two. Uh, we're we're here to greet the new guildmaster, not to start a fight. And who are you? Hello, guildmaster. I'm Falcon, one of the instructors of the adventuring guild. I was asked by Fiola here to accompany her in this meeting, saying that it would be troublesome if the two of you were left alone. But I didn't quite expect this. Enter text dot 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 and I share a history. Enter text dot dot dot. I'm just going to add the extra dot. Was a friend of my late husband, but the two of us never saw eye to eye. Yeah, well, it's because I was too afraid that your gaze would turn me into stone. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Besides, of course, from the ugly statue that would spoil the landscape. Jeez, no need to underline your relationship before me. Don't we actually have more important matters to discuss? For example, welcoming the new guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild? Congratulations! Although, I have to admit that this won't be an easy position to be in. Rand's letter is slightly hinted at it. How bad is it? Well, I don't know how much you heard about the Adventurer's Guild, but it's been going downhill for some time now. 
Ah, we lost most of our reputation and contacts. All of our seasoned adventurers have left us, and there's not much gold left to keep the guild going. Honestly, it's a mess. Well, that doesn't sound good. Well, that's why you're here. The former guildmaster was certain that you could bring the adventurer guild back to its feet. Alright, well, where do we start? My suggestion would be to start recruiting new adventurers. You can usually find them in the tavern. How about we pay it a visit right now? Okay, cool. Super happy that Fiola and I are our best of friends. Oh, that. Uh, okay, I have to. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like you can prevent her from talking to you. Uh, right click on a character to view the character page. <laughs> I have another one. You already had enough, you lightweight. Oh, who, who are you calling lightweight? I'm drunk yet. Sure. Oh, hi, Fiola. And hi, Falcon. Is this? Hello, Tavi. That's right. This is unfortunately the new guildmaster. Uh, unfortunately? Don't mind them. Just introduce yourself. Hello, Guildmaster. I am Tavi, and this tavern belongs to me. This is where all the adventurers go when they need to relax. If you think someone had a hard day, just send them to me, and I'll make them drink until they're too intoxicated to even remember why they were sad in the first place. Not, not really a healthy way of dealing with things, but, I mean, it is a way. Um... Yeah, I would have probably phrased it a bit differently, but yes, sometimes a former guildmaster would buy drinks for adventurers to raise morale. It is actually quite efficient. My advice is to keep that tradition and occasionally buy a drink or two for the adventurers. Anything else I should keep in mind here? Well, as I already said before, usually new adventurers who like to join the guild also arrive here. In the past, we would get adventurers from all over the world wanting to join us, many who had already made a name for themselves. Nowadays, however, the only people who come here are people who are too inexperienced and, well, too weak to make it on their own. Hey! I, I heard that. So what? If you have a problem with that, then prove him wrong. Uh, um... Yeah, that's what I thought. Eh... Anyway, we should start looking for adventurers here. At least enough to field a full party of four on a quest. Okay, got it. Hey, how about me? <laughs> um, <laughs> As I said, lightweight. Well, okay, and now we have adventurers that we can hire. Drinks won't be free, even for the guildmaster. Well, I mean, you got to make a living somehow, right? We have we have Draven, we have Darcia, we have Adrian, Adrian. Uh, we have Mimi, Adrian number two, Ridley, Clayton, Adrian number three. No, uh, Paula, uh, Clothild, Clothild. Okay. And Rod. What's with the big eye? That's two people that have got like... Uh, sorry, three people that have a big eye. I don't understand. Is it just their eye is bigger? Is, is that it? Or is there something like that's not right with them? Or, okay, I, I don't know. Uh, do we... Do, uh, okay, hold on. So, I feel like a very important piece of information on this screen is missing. Now, I don't want to say correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I feel like I'm right, but if you disagree, that's totally fine. I, I feel like, you know, traits are great, attributes are fine, a name, but I, I feel like if you're going to have it laid out like this, where we have like a large overview of what we're looking at, and maybe we can tell based off of like their armor set or something like that, I feel like somewhere, and I don't know where or how to fit this in, so my apologies I don't have an immediate solution. Maybe squish the attributes up or down, but 
I feel like the class should be clearly visible here. Like, it should be like priest. I don't know what they are, but priest, um, mage, rogue, defender, archer. That's my guess based off of what they're dressed like. Right? Like, I feel like that should be somewhere, or maybe even down, like, at the bottom of their portrait, you could add that. Because I feel like that's important information. I realize there is a details button over here, which will tell us the class of priest, uh, mage, and so on and so forth. But I feel like, again, rogue, I'm pretty sure I was on point. Maybe ranger instead of archer? Archer, okay. I, I, I still feel like that should be something that is clearly denoted on this screen, so you can just tell at a glance for sure, without having to maybe necessarily 100% familiarize yourself with the the picture. Again, this is a small, small suggestion. It doesn't really matter. This is fine. And again, the fact that we have all the details is nice, too. If uh, there was no details at all, I would definitely say that would be nice to add. And I do think that everything else that's on here is important. Maybe the attributes aren't as important as... Eh, I don't know. Maybe they are. As you can kind of compare side by side or uh, top to bottom here, uh, exactly who has what, and then you can do the traits to see which rogue would uh, benefit you more, and so on and so forth. Lazy. Dexterity growth is reduced. Endurance growth is increased. Initiative is reduced. Well, that's not great. A born leader. And then uh, wisdom growth. Heal and courage effects uh, caused by this character are stronger. That doesn't really apply. This guy, less willpower, higher wisdom. Uh, permanent mood debuff. That's not good. And clumsy. Also not good. All right. I think the number one thing we want to look at right now is probably an archer. Uh, okay. Determined. Willpower growth. Always starts a quest confident. Sure. And that is uh, determined. Um, magically talented. I don't think that matters. And then, of course, we're going to have to have something unfortunate at the end here. Uh, charismatic is a rock. Uh, more likely to have negative relationship events with other characters. Well. Dodge dexterity growth. You know that. It's not that bad. The initiative being a little low kind of sucks, but since they're nimble but lazy, we lose the we lose the initiative. The 10%'s down. We lose 10 dexterity, but we gain 20, so 30 here, so that'd be a 20 overall change. I I think uh Clothild is uh probably our our go-to. Let's check more details. I like that everybody has a little bit of a biography, too. You guys want to read into that? That's always kind of cool. I like that. And she is inexperienced, I'm guessing, level one. Again, that might be another thing that would be nice to see. I, I'm assuming that's what that means. On the overall uh, thing. So, like, level and uh, what profession or class they are would be nice to see on this. But at the same time, doing that is going to really kind of make you struggle to fit things in, right? To get all the information. But like maybe the circle with a with a one and then like archer across the bottom or something. Or archer across the bottom and then there. Or you put archer over here and you still put the level. Like I, I like if this is the level, I like the level being there. I think that's that works pretty well. Oh, that's where the stats are. Oh, nice. Uh, we do have a dodge stat. Oh, yeah, I totally missed that before. Cool. A lot of information. I like this. Uh, and... Yeah. What is RP? I, I suppose we'll find that out. Alright, let's go take a look over here at what she's got to say. Here for a drink, Guildmaster? Uh, Tavi... Did you used to be an adventurer? No. Why would you think that? 
It just seemed very likely in a place like this. Well, if you really want to know, I joined the Adventurer's Guild because of my husband. He was an adventurer, and he was also one of the first adventurers to join the Adventurer Guild. When he joined the guild, I opened a tavern here with the help of a former guildmaster. It was my way of staying close to him, because my family used to run a tavern in Cragmond. I had no trouble with running one in the guild. Sure, adventurers can be a rougher bunch than most, but my husband always had a knack for reminding people not to cause any trouble in my tavern. Hmm. You say he was an adventurer? Uh... He never got to retire. But I guess that was never unexpected. That's the life of an adventurer for you. One day you were making plans for the future together, and on the next there is none of that to be had. I see. Ah, there's no need to feel sorry for me, Guildmaster. It happened a long time ago. Right now, I'm more concerned about people paying their tabs. Still, don't want that drink. That's all. Yeah, there's always a seat free for you here. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's grab our our girl cloth 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 old. Uh, ooh, Paula's got the healthy body. She, she's kind. She's nimble, and resourceful. I think we have to bring her along. Paula seems incredible. Okay, I'm going to recruit Paula as well. Uh, how, how much does it cost to recruit? Does it say? Is it minus 80? Or is that how much we're having to pay people? I don't... Maybe we recruit. I, I, don't, I don't know how it works. Uh, let's see what Mimi's got. Selfish. Doesn't lose BP when allies get critted or died. However, cannot target allies with any skills unless they're best friends or lovers. Whoa. Uh, doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't seem that good either. We should probably get a priest as well. Wow. Um, so, unfortunately, permanent mood. Just bad in general. What is this? Glutton. All right. Well, Draven or Draven, as it were, you're joining the squad. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. We could buy drinks if we wanted to, but I don't think we're going to do that. Um, all right. Let's back out. Good. You found a group that is willing to work with you. Congratulations. That's much easier than having to deal with you. So what's next? Um, now that we have the adventurers, we should be able to do quests again. But before we send the adventurers on their first quest for the Adventurer Guild, we should make some preparations. Two bandages, two antidotes, two healing potions, and two mana potions. Usually the guild provides the adventurers with items for their adventures, a few potions, bandages, antidotes, and etc. Unfortunately, the guild currently has nothing in their inventory. <sighs> Where do we get more? We still have a merchant here who is selling us his supplies, but he is a bit... Well, it doesn't matter. You'll see for yourself. I don't like how that sounds. Well, I guess it's time for you to meet Mikan. Alright, Mikan. Oh. This is our supplier. Uh, his name is Mikan. A name I'm pretty sure is made up. It certainly is. I see, we're already off to a great start. Care to explain? Uh, after the guild has started to lose its reputation, fewer and fewer merchants were willing to do business with us. And then suddenly a very suspicious stranger appeared. That would be me. And he offered to become our supplier now that all the other merchants have cut their contact with us. He never showed us his face, never told us where he came from or why he wants to support the adventurer guild. So, all the red flags. But beggars can't be choosers, my friend. And you, my dear customers, are very much beggars right now, and I'm the philanthropist who is holding you up. Hmm, so you're doing this out of generosity. Oh, no, 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 no. The actual reason is completely different from that. And you're not going to tell us? Exactly. You're just as insightful as you look. 
I mean, even if I told you a reason, how could you possibly know I'm telling the truth? For all you know, I could be a big bad evil guy, and this is all part of an unnecessarily elaborate plan to destroy everything you love and care about. Uh, lighten up, Guildmaster. I'm joking, of course. Uh, I miss the old Guildmaster. He actually laughed when I told him that. Despite all of that, there was never any problem with the wares McCann brought us. Quite the opposite, in fact. Well, I guess we have no choice but to keep relying on you, then. Thank you, Guildmaster. You will not regret this. Or will you? <laughs> JK, JK, ha, 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 ha. Cool. I like it. Quite the caricature. All right, we got to get two, two, and two. And I guess we'll talk to you first. Hello, Guildmaster. How can I be of service? Makan? So, how old are you? After two millennials, I stopped counting. Does that mean you had two children? I like, don't... Like, two mil millennia? Because I don't think millennials is... Alright, whatever. Well, what is your real name? It's a word that cannot be pronounced in any known language. Are you human? I like, I like the ears, by the way. Oh, if I were, would I be wearing all these clothes that cover up my skin? Was any of that remotely true? No. Ah. Good talking to you, Guildmaster. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I guess not. Two bandages, and I don't remember what the final thing was. Antidotes. Now, there is still one place you also need to know of. The temple! And sometimes, sure, there's more than just that. Sometimes people will get injured and need only time to heal. Time is a luxury we cannot always afford. Yes, uh, unfortunately. But the temple can help us with that. How about we also give it a visit today? Sure. Is it the temple? So... Um, we have a temple in the Adventurer Guild. Uh-huh. Are you sure you want to step foot in here? Aren't you afraid of turning into ashes? Of course not. Like you, I'm not a faithless heathen. You should be more worried that the gods don't smite you because you defile this place with your presence. I would pray for your soul, if you had one. You too should be more worried whether the gods would be offended by your bickerings in this place of all places. Oh, oh hey Nora, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Mr. Falcon. And of course, you too, Mrs. Uh, Fiola. If you excuse me, I have something to do. She left. She left rather quickly. Hello, Fiola. Hello, Falcon. Uh, okay. Hey, Eden. Uh, we were actually looking for you. Oh, is that so? Then I'm happy to be here. How can I help? Uh, well, we wanted to introduce you to the new Guildmaster. Guildmaster, this is Eden. He is in charge of the temple here and is also a training instructor for the guild. Eden, this is our new guildmaster. Enter text. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, so you're enter text. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, something wrong? No, no, it's nothing. It's just I, I heard a lot about you. Uh, what did Fran tell you? It wasn't the former guildmaster. It was Fiola. Oh, yeah. Why are you looking at me? Isn't it obvious that you'd consult a priest if the devil haunts your nightmares? Don't worry, Guildmaster. Of course, I know Fiola was probably exaggerating. You seem to be a very touchy subject for her. They definitely hooked up at some point in the past. Yeah, I don't even want to know. You really don't. Um, <clears throat> moving on. Uh, as we told you before, sometimes adventurers will need to be sent out again before they're ready. In those cases, Eden can help us. 
Usually healing magic is only capable of giving temporary re temporary relief. When adventurers use healing magic or healing potions on the field, they will still need to recover naturally when they come back. But we priests from the church of Ganenta uh, are specialized in the art of healing and capable of a ritual that can forcefully recover all injuries. Sweet. Yeah, I'm familiar with that process. It's not a great feeling. Yeah, unfortunately it isn't. Having the body mend itself is a rather painful process. Therefore, it shouldn't be used too often. Otherwise, your adventures will be less than thankful. Okay. Adventurers who get injured during quest time or need time to recover, it will still be possible to send them on quests if necessary, but injured adventurers will have reduced maxed uh, hit points during a quest. Uh, the church can forcibly heal your adventurers in one day, but this is a painful process to them and it will lower their mood. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Now we should have everything ready for the adventurers to start their first official quest for the Adventurers Guild. For now, the quests we get aren't much, but hopefully when our reputation starts to get better, there will be more and better paying quests available. From here on out, the future of the Adventurers Guild is in your hands. Don't screw this up. From this point on, your goal is to lead the guild to ultimate fame. To do so, you have to build up your reputation by completing quests that have been sent to the guild. To view the available quests, click on the quest button. After you accept a quest, you will select adventurers to send and choose what they take for the journey. Prepare carefully, or your adventurers will have to pay the price. While preparing your adventurers, you will also be able to purchase supplies for the upcoming quest. The amount of supplies available to purchase depends on the quest length. Alright. I'm just going to go take a peek at this real quick. Collect items, explore area. Short recommended supplies per adventurer two locations cave. Collect three rare mushrooms. And we're not gonna bring Brad along, we'll bring Paula. I will bring Hira. And Clo Clothed, maybe? Clothild? Do I need anything else? Should I bring the, the priest? I'll throw the priest in there, too. Alright. Party inventory. Can we split this? Okay, I like that. I see. Okay, I think that's fine. And we'll bring... Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh we're, we're, we're bringing way too many supplies. Alright, that's, that's more than enough. Okay. Wait, can we... Can we right-click? No, I guess not. Okay, well, that's that's that. So we hit start quest. You have less than the recommended amount of supplies in your inventory. Continue? Wait, hold on. Really? Hold on, let's hit cancel. Recommended are 10. Oh, oh, never mind. The supplies are here and they're going over there. Okay, I, never mind. All right, we'll go to 10. I, I thought it was going to be 8. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was thinking like we were buying here. And I'm like, oh no, we have like 13 and it's, it's fine. I, I got you. All right, this puts us back into essentially the situation we were at before where we'll be able to walk around and do stuff and battle and whatnot, which I believe it does. We're going to break off our first look right here. That kind of shows you basically probably not everything. I mean, definitely not everything, but it gives you the ebb and flow of combat. It gives you the idea of exploration and searching and finding things, what the quests could be like. In this case, find the rare mushrooms. And, of course, how the combat and all that stuff works. And then, on the other side, the uh, maintaining of the guild, the taking care of your adventurers, hiring new ones, and just doing kind of the maintenance or the admin stuff of uh, the Adventurers Guild. 
I think it's a really, really cool game. I really hope uh, the, the developer will actually reach out to me and, um, you know, I can cover this in the future, not just in the demo sense. But the demo is available for everybody. You guys can pick it up and try it yourselves. And uh, hopefully if you like it, um, add it to your wish list as any time a game is yet to come out, especially before, even before it comes out in like uh, Steam Early Access. Uh, it's really, 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 really important that you go ahead and you wish list it. But even once it goes into early access, if you're not going to pick it up during early access, some people have like, there's a stigma around early access. I don't want to, whatever. I, I don't care. Uh, if you don't want to do it uh, and you still like the game, make sure you wish list it because it still helps toward their actual launch and full release of the game. I don't know when the game is due out of early access, but very, very cool stuff that I see so far. And I can't wait to play more. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do so. So, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, I will find all the relevant information I can and put them down in links down below in the description of the video. And until the very next first look, full series, a limited run series, or anything else you find here on The Freak Show, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.